What's up guys, John O'Neill here from Crest Sports Performance. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about what I like to consider when we're training a one sport high school athlete. So, big problem in our industry right now is people love to identify problems without really addressing them. So we know that we'd rather have our younger athletes play two, three sports at a time, but what do we do when we get them and they're 14 years old and only play one sport? So, it's our job to address that problem. From there, there are four things that I like to consider that I don't consider as much when I have a three sport athlete that we're only gonna train for say three months instead of nine. So number one here is gonna be strength, speed, power, elasticity. So if I have nine months a year to train somebody, I need to take into account a little bit of all of these versus a traditional program where I can get away with just getting them strong. If I train an athlete that way for nine months, I'm creating a much more rigid athlete and potentially taking away from their ability to be elastic and produce speed and power. Next thing we're gonna take into consideration is a sport specific versus a general heart. So again, if I have an athlete for three months to prepare for just one season, I'm probably gonna train energy systems wise specifically geared toward that sport and just that sport. Whereas if I have them for nine months, I wanna expose them to the idea as if they were playing multiple sports. So I'm gonna call that like a general heart where we're training all kinds of energy systems, methods, and techniques throughout the whole year. Next thing is gonna be creating some kind of competitive environment. So the last two are more on a social than a technical level, uh, but having your program so it's not closed like a traditional set rep scheme is, and having more open environments, creating competitiveness within the program, something where people can struggle and actually experience some kind of failure so they're not going three quarters of a year without potentially losing in some way. Uh, trying to create basically a realistic struggle, something like where you're doing five reps, five reps, and then max reps with that same weight, um, or something where you're going airdyne sprints until you can't hit a certain number. That's basically creating an open versus a closed environment. The last thing that we do here, even though we have an individualized programming model, is we're trying to create this community or this team environment uh, where everybody is not only respectful of each other, but everybody's friends with each other and relies on each other for support. And that way when our kids, if they spend nine months a year here, when they go back to their high school teams, they're not a loner or an individual or somebody who can't play within a team environment. 